Hey guys, welcome to the channel. Just wanted to make a really quick video showing off this Glock 43X build here, um, as I will have a larger review of it in the near future. Before we get started, um, please click that like button if you enjoy this video, subscribe if you enjoy my content, and a quick shout out. Um, first of all, I have over 10,000 views on that MCX video. That is infinitely more than I ever anticipated to get in this amount of time. Um, and I, of course, thank you all for, for tuning in and giving me your honest critiques and comments on that video. All right, so um, today's topic of discussion, uh, first of all, like I said, I just wanted to show off this 43X build. Uh, my first video I ever made on this channel was actually on the Roland Special, and this is essentially a Rolanded out 43X. Um, but the main topic of discussion for today are going to be these Palmetto State Armory magazines. So, PSA just released the 15 round micro dagger magazines, um, much to everyone's, uh, um, much to everyone's enjoyment for lack of a better word. Uh, Shield Arms was the only manufacturer that, that provided something similar previously. And many people have had a lot of issues with shield arms. So we were all extremely excited for this magazine, which is polymer, polymer up here, so you don't need to replace your mag catch, but also metal in the back to allow 15 rounds of capacity. Um, like I said, you don't need to replace the mag catch on these, whereas the shield arms, you of course do. Um, and shield arms mags haven't been, I wouldn't say they're known for being unreliable, um, because there are channels like Sage Dynamics, which actually have an excellent video on them where he's found great success. However, many people, myself included, have not had great success with them. We've seen a lot of failure, failure to feeds, um, failure to extract, or, or just the magazine dimensions aren't perfect, for lack of a better word. Um, that's where these PSA mags come in. They're about 30 bucks a piece, and we were all extremely excited for them to come in. Um, I am happy to report I own three of these at this point, um, and I have only gone through about 400 rounds between the three mags, but they work flawlessly. I will update you guys if that changes in the future. Um, however, I am incredibly happy with these magazines, and I think I'm going to be making a new video in the future because my 43X video, while a great video, in my opinion at least, um, it was an overview to the 43X with the issue of it being only a 10 round single stack weapon. Um, the 43X now, this is of course rolling it out, but we officially have Glock 19 capacity in a 43X size. Now once again, this is obviously a rolling special type build and I put my 43 here just for comparison. It's actually the 43X slide and this is the 43 slide, but here is the tiny 43 on top of the 43X. Even while being comped, the 43X is really not that much bigger than a 43. And the 43 is regarded as a tiny platform. So in my new video, assuming this comp works well and these magazines continue to work well, um, I am simply going to be stating that the 43X is the best Glock on the planet. Yeah. That's a really heavy claim, but you know what? I mean it. Why have Glock 19 capacity in a firearm the size of a Glock 19 when you can have a 43X that has the same capacity? Obviously Glock 19s get extensions. I'm assuming PSA will make extensions for this eventually, but why have a Glock 19 that is substantially bigger when you could have this 43X? Now you could argue the Glock 19 shoots better, but hey, that's what the comp's there for. So I'm very excited to test all this out and get back to you guys with hard data, as well as my, my opinions when they're more well formulated. But for the time being, the purpose of this video is just to sing the praises of the PSA magazines. Uh, Palmetto State Armory, if you're watching this, you guys freaking did it. Um, yeah, I, I, I think I can say for most of us that we may have not been expecting the best, okay? Shield Arms is at multiple iterations and they're still having issues. These PSA mags, 
PSA is known for having, I wouldn't say bad firearms, but cheaper firearms. And you know what? When I heard PSA was going to make these, I was excited, but I didn't get my hopes up. But you know what, PSA? Thumbs up to you guys. You guys knocked this out of the park, and you just, in my opinion, revolutionized the 43X. I'm not going to mince words here. This is the best concealed carry firearm on the planet, in my opinion. Okay? All right. 43X mags. Palmetto State Armory. Go pick them up. A larger review in the future. Um, once I do get some range time with this comp, uh, of course, if it doesn't work, I'll tell you guys. I haven't shot it yet. Um, but it, it's Parker Mountain Machine. Uh, they make absolutely fantastic everything so i recommend them and i have no doubt this will work well um i'll get back to you guys in uh, about a week or so with an updated review on this stay tuned if you like i said enjoy this channel um please like and subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next one